Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with another episode of my TV Scaries. <laughs> The Horror Man's TV Scaries is a series in which I discuss horror-themed episodes of TV shows that are not typically horror-themed. On occasion, some might have a slight horror element. That's the case with this week's episode. It's light on horror and big on laughs, but it still qualifies for me. The title of the episode is Dying to Meet You, and it's from the fifth season of Three's Company. In Dying to Meet You... Jack and Larry are out at the Beagle, bar and restaurant. There, they meet an attractive woman named April, with her extremely jealous and violent boyfriend, Max. Max is played by Terry Kaiser, who plays Dr. Cruz in Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. He's crazy in that too, but not as violent as he is as Max in this episode of Three's Company. That is another nice horror connection, though. When Max catches Jack looking at April, he threatens him. But then, while Max is in the men's room, April sits down next to Jack on the booth. This, of course, enrages Max when he returns from the restroom. But luckily for Jack and Larry, April is able to convince Max to leave without causing too much of a scene. Later on, though, April shows up at Jack's apartment to apologize, and Max isn't far behind her. When he catches April there, he completely loses his mind. Jack manages to get away though, and he escapes to Larry's apartment to hide. But once again, Max is not far behind, and he breaks down Larry's door. He asks Larry to give Jack a message, unable to find Jack hiding. Max wants Jack to know that he will find him, and he will kill him. It's like Three's Company meets Taken. Every day after that, Max is stationed outside of Jack's apartment, stalking him, waiting for him to step outside. But Jack is too scared to leave. He even continues to call out of work. At one point, he tells Larry he might be better off dead instead of feeling so afraid. And that's when they devise a plan. Larry rents a coffin so Jack can fake his own death. If Jack is already dead, Max has no reason to kill him. So the girls, Larry and Mr. Furley, even host a fake funeral for Jack. Of course, this is Three's company, so something is bound to go wrong, right? The funny thing about this episode is it's still extremely funny, mainly due to the body comedy of John Ritter. He was the king of that. He was a true legend of the comedic craft. Without all of that, though... This could have been a genuinely disturbing episode. Max is a complete psychopath, stalking Jack, literally intent on killing him. He was clearly an abusive boyfriend to April, and just a maniac overall. This is dark comedy at its finest. Horror comedy, if you will. Were you a fan of Three's Company? Have you seen the episode Dying to Meet You? Comment below and let me know. Next time on The Horror Man's TV Scaries, a classic 90s Nicktoon plays homage to babysitter horror. What will it be? Tune in to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.